And this next step is called the mince with left turn, or it's a reverse left turn. Now we can do that in two different ways. We can do that as a basic, as a standard, or we can do it with a bit of style or with a bit of flair. So if I show you the step first, so we're going to step one, two, three, five, six, seven. We're going to step one, two, three, four. We can do a basic turn, two, three, five, six, seven. Or what we can do is a style, two, three, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, five, six, seven. So let's just do that step first. So, doing the basic, let me just show you from the side. So doing the basic, so one, two, three, five, six, seven. So we're gonna balance, we're gonna step, and one, two, three, four. Now you can give more emphasis on the movement, two, three, and four. What you don't wanna do is just one, two, three, four. So just add that movement in terms of opposites, as always. So, right shoulder comes forward, left hip goes forward. So, forward and forward and forward. So after that four counts, one, two, three, four. Of course, we're gonna step onto our five. Five, six, seven, and just a standard turn, and a right. I did that wrong. Let me do that again. So one, two, three, four. So the standard turn is one, two, three, then the count is five, six, and seven. So into our basic turn. So if you want to do the style with that step, sorry, before we actually move into that, when you're doing that turn, oh, my camera's got a bit funny. So when we're doing that, so it's one, two, three, four, into that step, so one, two, three, okay? So we're just going one, two, three, step into the side, if I see you the side, one, two, three, and then simply step in five, six, and seven, and come around. So if we're gonna do the style, if we're gonna do the flare of that step, so if you step one, two, three, four, one, two, three, same again, same sort of step, but all, again, all your weight is on your center, so your center is right down through here. Just slightly bend the knee, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this leg around. You don't want that leg in front of you, what you want is the shoulder to go around and to drag this with you. And what I mean by that is there. Oh, nearly. So leave that leg there, bring the body around, forget the leg, okay? Because we're not gonna use any muscles, anything at all. Let it drag. And in fact, you feel the pull on your hip. So when you actually go around, then what you can do is as you come all the way around, then you can bring the foot up into that step. Just concentrate on this part, then you won't lose your balance. Let me show you from the side. So if I do that four count, one, two, three, four. We're gonna do our one, two, three, one, two, three. Stop, drop your weight down, bring your shoulder around, leaving that foot all the way around. Bring it in, and then one, two, three, five, six, seven. Let me shoot from this angle. So it's one, two, three, four. We're going to step. One, two, drop the weight down. Round we go. Five, six, seven. Bring that foot in. Weight goes down, of course, into seven. Back to basic. Two, three, five, six, and seven. Just in that practice, just again with that practice, get that center. Just drop your knee down. Don't go fast because fast actually causes the problem. You want to have it controlled. A controlled flow around there. Don't concentrate on this leg. We're not interested in this leg. This leg only comes back to us when we actually come to a stop, change weight, and then we can go forward. Let's try that onto music. Mm -hmm. 